back to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers i really appreciate you guys a whole lot for subscribing to my youtube channel so guys if you are new to my channel if you have not subscribed already this is the first time of you coming across this stylish ninja youtube channel please i would appreciate if you will hit on the subscribe button it actually takes nothing just subscribe and then also hit on the bell on the side to get an update so whenever i upload a new video you are going to be among the first people that is going to see that video okay so you can also follow me on all of my various social media platform on instagram at stylish niger facebook at stylish niger and also pinterest at stylish niger so all of this platform why you should follow me is because i normally drop notifications of illustrations there so in case you miss out the notification of any of my video here on youtube you would see it on these three platforms okay so if you want to register for my online class so you see my number scrolling through the screen just send me a message and this month i'm having a new class i'm adding another new class this is an advanced class so if you want to participate on my class so just send me a message and then i'll send you the details of the course outline okay so guys today i'm going to be showing you how to actually cut and sew this gorgeous um I'm just going to name it because the truth is I don't know what to name it. I'm just going to name it a gorgeous booboo and uh, kaftan dress or a gorgeous booboo dress. So I just so you could see the picture actually up there. So but I just made a rough sketch so I'll be able to illustrate it and uh, nicely and properly for you. So the picture is of this a very gorgeous dress actually. So I'm going to be making use of this fabric. This is like a satin and fabric. I'm going to make use of three yards and the length because it is uh, certain like the length is actually long it is 60 inches so I'm going to make use of the entire six year and uh, sorry three yards so what I'm going to do now because if you notice this dress you see that it is a high neck and because I want to um, I want to make it a high neck even though I'm not sure if I'm going to add a collar yet but I'm going to add a zipper at the back so that you'll be able to put it on on your so it can pass through the neck so what i'm going to do i'm going to divide my fabric into two what i'm going to do in dividing it into two i'm just going to make um one is just going to be normally i would have used it this way but i'm just going to use cut one bigger by two inches and then i'll fold the fabric okay guys so you see i folded my fabric into two so you can see and uh, this part is a little bit bigger than this because of the zipper allowance, so I'm just trying to show you. I want you to see the entire leg before I get the camera closer. So the next thing you are going to do, you are going to put into consideration for this kind of um, bubble or captain dress is the sleeve. Where you actually want the sleeve to get to, how long you want it to fall to. So that's what you are going to use to fold this part. That's what you are going to use to fold. So like I said, I'm using making use of three yards so i'm going to just use the entire of my that's the entire length that i have which is about 28 inches so that's what i'm using so in order for you to get this kind of um if you want to really know how to fold it that's if you don't want to use your entire maybe if you have maybe like now you have um or for example <laughs> it's better for example you have uh, let me say like four yards of fabric or five yards and you don't want to waste you can use half of your cross back measurement so you see this part this is the center of your back so you could measure from this point of your back to how much you want the sleeve to drop so you can actually use that to, to fold out your fabric so now i'm going to adjust the camera and then we're going to start inputting our measurement so this gown literally a part of it is kind of straight that's towards the down part is straight and then the top part is where you have all of the boo boo and the kaftan like and um, whatever so i'm going to show you how to draft it it's really simple that's just the truth it is a simple dress it's gorgeous but yet simple okay guys so i have some couple of lines on my fabric here so i really don't want to to make it too um It's not really too obvious because the chalk is going to stain the, the, the fabric. 
So, and I really do not want that. And if I say, let me make use of white chalk, you know, it will not be obvious on the camera. So, I'm just trying to, I'm just going to try to explain. So, uh, the first line I actually have here is my bust line. So, this point is like this. I'm going to take this point as my shoulder. That's the top. That's like the start, start up line. So, from this point to this part is my bust line. So, this is the bust line, which is 10 inches. So, I ruled it. And then from the shoulder, to my waistline, that's this part. I have 18 inches. This is the 18 inches here, like this. This is 18 inches. So the next line that I have now is my hip line. So my hip line is 28 inches. So my hip is going to be on this part. And then from my shoulder to my knee is 34 inches. So you measure from the shoulder to the knee because as the sleeve is just going to almost be that's the drop it's almost going to be there so and then the full length like i told you initially is 60 inches so the next thing we're going to do now we're going to start imputing we're going to start on the top so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to measure the neckline so for the neckline since it is a high neckline the width i'm going to make use of three 0.5 inches for the width and then the depth for the neckline I'm going to use for the front neckline. I'm going to use three inches. I want it high I'm going to use three inches. So I'm just going to mark it like this. You can make use of a pattern curve I'm going to curve it like this and then the back neckline. I'm going to use One inch for the back neckline. So the back neckline is going to be high so that's the back neckline. The next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to come to this point, this end. I'm going to measure about 1.5 inch down or 2 inches, depends. And then I'm going to slope the shoulder. So from this neckline point, I'm going to slope it to that point. Okay, so I've sloped it down. The next thing I'm going to add now. So for all of this part, I'm going to use the same measurement. That's from this uh, shoulder line up to my hip line i'm going to use the same measurement so i'm not going to cut out anything it is when we're, we're um, stitching that's when we're going to shape it out so i'm going to use everything there the next thing i'm going to do now because i don't want to confuse you so let me just leave it that way. i'm not going to touch anything on that part so i'm going to come to the knee line part now I'm going to measure the knee, the knee measurement. So you measure your round knee measurement. So for this, I'm going to use 40 for my round knee. So you divide 40 into 4, you have 10. This is 10 inches. And then the next thing I'm going to add, I'm going to add about 2 inches as my allowance. So from this point now, this is the knee part, which is 40 inches. So from this point now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come up. This is the knee line. I'm going to come up by about two inches or one in two inches is okay so from this point like this this is what i'm going to do i need to really so from the knee point now i'm okay i've added okay from the knee point so i came up by two inches so from these two inches now you can actually take it from the knee point depends on what you want or you can go up by one inch so it still depends on how how much that's how you want the sleeve part to be. So from this point, I'm just going to rule this line now. So from this two inches line, I'm going to slope it into the shoulder line. Sorry, I said shoulder, the knee line. So it's not really entirely straight. So from this point like this now, so you could do one inch up or two inch, depends. So I'm just going to slope it up like this now. So let me just do one inch. So from this one inch, I'm just going to mark it. I'll connect it to the knee point like this. I'll connect it to the knee point like this. And then this part is going to be like this. So I'm going to just curve this part a little bit like this. So this is what we are going to have. So the next thing you are going to do from this down part, you're just going to, you can decide if, if you want a straight, um, gown that's a straight boo, boo you can just decide to follow the measurement down or if you want it the, this down part to be open a little bit so it depends on what you want so what i'm going to do i want it straight so i'm just going to repeat i have about 12 inches here i'm just going to take it like that and then i would 
bring it to this point okay i'll add let me just add one inch to the down part so i'm going to have about 13 inches for this down. so from this part like this let me pull up so from this part like this i'm just going to do this you could use your ruler you could actually use your ruler so i'm just going to slope it like this so for this back you are going to add if you are going to be making it straight like this this part you are going to have a slit at the back or you can do a vent so it depends on what you want so now the first thing i'm going to do now we're going to cut off this part so that this other part will start making sense to us i'm just going to take my scissors like this so you see what we have so you see that it is looking like what we have on the picture now you see it is looking like what we have on the picture so i just want you to take a good look at it before i continue okay so on this top part the next thing we're going to do now we're going to cut out the neckline so i'll cut the back neckline first and then we cut our shoulder slope so for this part of the sleeve you can decide to make it square like this and if you don't know you don't want something square you can actually curve it however you want to curve it that's another style so i've seen it i've seen on a different style of it that that one is curved so it depends on what you want so now i'm going to cut the front neckline i'm going to cut it like this now okay guys so i'll open up the back piece i'm going to do that when i'm ready to stitch now so the next thing we're going to do now i'm going to show you how to actually stitch this dress it is really simple and easy so before we continue on the right side we're going to be marking the shape of our dress on the right side so you can decide to do this in two ways you can decide to 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 mark it now and then stitch does and then go and stitch because you are going to be stitching a part okay let me just explain for this part now this part we are going to be stitching it from the inside that's the side of our dress we'll stitch it from the inside so i think i should let's go and stitch from the inside and then before we stitch this down part before we stitch the side of the the right side where we are going to create our sleeve opening from so i hope you understand it. so i will just open it up so that you, you see it and understand more so this part now i'm going to stitch like this i'll take it to my machine now and then i'm going to stitch this part like this from the inside that's from the wrong side of my fabric i'll stitch both the both side and then my neckline i'll turn it out with a facing and then stitch them and then come back and shape the center okay guys so welcome back so i finished stitching like i said so you see and the down part so i'm just going to move my dress so you see it so you see the down part so like i said you can add a vent or a um, slit to the back so the next thing we're going to do now we're going to shape out the top part of this dress because if you are going to leave it this way it's going to it's not going to have the shape that you have there and the shape we're going to be stitching it on the right side of this dress so here's what we're going to do from this point you are going to impute all of your measurement back into your piece that's into this and working piece we have here the first thing i'm going to do now i'm going to measure from this point i'll measure my bust point because that's where i'm going to impute the bust measurement this is my bust and point that's from the shoulder to the bust and then from my shoulder to my under bust also so you can put that or you can say to leave it use the same measurement both for the bust and the under bust and then from this point i'm going to measure my waist that's from the shoulder to the waist this is the shoulder to the waist line and then from this waistline point you are going to measure your hip measurement and then from your hip you measure from your shoulder to your knee so these are all of the parts where we're going to impute all of the measurements so before we continue i'm going to fold my fabric into two so i will be able to get it nicely and correctly okay so you see what we have now so from this point now we're going to start measuring so i have all of my points now so i don't want because this is the right side i really don't want the chalk to be very obvious on it so what we're going to do now you're going to come to this um, bust line point this is the bust line point 
Okay, so this is the bust line point. So you are going to come to the bust line point and then you are going to measure your bust measurement. So for my bust measurement is 36. So I'm going to divide 36 into, into 4. You are going to have 9. So I'm just going to add a little bit of ease to it. But you can set to make it tight, but I will add a little bit of ease to it. So what I'm going to mark here, I'm going to mark 10 inches. So this is my 10 inches here on this point. And then I'm going to come to my waist measurement. So for my waist measurement, is that my waist is actually 34. I'm going to divide 34. You divide 34 into 4. What you have, you are going to impute the measurement here. So the same thing, I'm going to add one inch allowance to it so from this point like this from your both points you're just going to mark you see this point and then this point you're just going to mark it like this because it is not entirely and straight so the next thing you are going to mark now we're going to mark our hip measurement and my hip is actually 40 inches this is my hip line now this is my hip line i'm going to mark my hip which is 40, which is 10 inches. And then I'm going to add my one inch allowance that I'm adding just to make it a little bit free. So from this point, I'm going to curve it like this to my hip shape. So you see what I have, you see the shape is coming out just like what we have on the picture. So this part is going to come like this and then you curve it into your hip measurement part. And then for the knee part, depends on how how slim you actually want your knee to be so for this part like this i'm just going to reduce i'm just going to uh, clip the, the, the sorry the knee measurement i'm going to use the measurement of this down part so i'm just going to mark it like this and then i'm going to stop it here so i want you to note it's going to stop here so from this point like this i'm just going to take it and then i'll make a stitch a straight stitch on the right side and then the stitch is going to stop here like this on just this point where you have this curve so that is where the stitch is going to stop so i'm going to repeat this same this same shape like this i'm going to repeat it on this other side also so when i'm stitching i will see it clearly and then i'm just going to use a straight stitch to stitch it Okay, so for this other side, you can set to repeat it folded or you can just do something simple. From this point, you know you are, you are marking 20 inches, that's for the bust. You are just going to mark your 20 inches like this. And then your waist and measurement. You mark your waist measurement and then the same thing, you are just going to curve it like this in. Just the same way. So you see, you could just see the shape, it's just looking so beautiful. And then your hip line measurement. So I have my line here also. From this point, I'm just going to mark my hip measurement also. And then from this point, I'm just going to curve it in like this. And then I'm going to stop it here at this point. So I hope you see how simple it is. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to take it back to my machine. And then I'm going to stitch make straight stitch here on this right side and then come back and show you the finished dress it is simple like i said okay everyone so you could see at the end of the day this is how our gorgeous um boo boo captain dress is going to look like so you see this part so that's the part so you see the shape so you're just going to make sure it is going to follow your shape just like i explained so you see this part so for the sleeve you can decide however big and exaggerated you actually want your sleeve to be. You can actually do that. And then for the neckline, I told you that I actually do not want to add that high color. So this neck is just okay. So thank you so much. If you find this helpful, I would appreciate if you hit on the like button to make me know you appreciate what I did. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and then share this video with all of your friends and soulmates. So thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. God bless you.